Since her passing, there have been many questions about Queen Elizabeth's possessions, including who in the British royal family would receive her money and jewelry. As we all know, she was a billionaire owning lots of possessions. We're talking about lands, mansions, and even animals. But the question is, who will inherit what? In today's video, we will take a look at how the Queen's wealth will be shared between the royal family members, from those who will inherit to those who might not even receive a penny. Well, although Queen Elizabeth's will is private, there have been reports on which members of the British royal family would get her estate and wealth. However, others will be entirely excluded. It's quite a big family. Take a look at the three children being left behind, that is Prince Andrew, Duke of York, Anne, Princess Royal, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. We also have Prince William and Prince Harry, the grandchildren of Queen Elizabeth. Interestingly, we also have King Charles, who has married Queen Consort Camilla in 2005 and they have a daughter together. What then will King Charles get from Queen Elizabeth? Firstly, King Charles received the Sovereign Grant, an annual grant from the British taxpayers to the royal family. If you can recall, it all started when King George III reached the deal in 1760 to give up his income from Parliament in exchange for a fixed annual payment for himself and future members of the British royal family. This deal gave rise to the Sovereign Grant. Before it was modified as the Sovereign Grant in 2012, the agreement was known as the Civil List. According to the arrangement, the British royal family receives a grant in exchange for giving the government the proceeds from the family's $19 billion collection of properties and interests known as the Crown Estate. The current monarch receives 25% of the Crown Estate earning each year. The sum covers the maintenance and utilities of the property, the travel expenses of the British royal family, and the wages of the royal staff. The Crown Estate is a company that manages properties in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Interestingly, the Crown Estate made a $361 million net profit in 2021. The Queen received a sovereign gift from the UK Treasury of $100 million, about $1.50 for every citizen of the country. We also have Princess Anne. What will she receive as an inheritance from the Queen? The only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Princess Anne is the second oldest child. She is Princess Royal, the elder sister of Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, and the younger sister of King Charles III. Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, two of the Queen's grandchildren, are also raised by Princess Anne and her ex-husband Mark Phillips, whom she divorced in 1992. In the same year, she got married again, this time to Timothy Lawrence. Princess Anne will also receive a portion of the Sovereign Grant, which is now controlled by their oldest brother, King Charles III, along with her brothers Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. The specific value of Princess Anne's portion remains unknown. Moreover, Princess Anne will be awarded a new royal title because of her significance in the activities leading up to the Queen's burial in September 2022. Lately, she has announced in a post on the British royal family's Instagram page that she spent Queen Elizabeth's final 24 hours by her side. We then move to Prince Andrew, the second son and third oldest child of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Prince Andrew is the Duke of York. Moreover, Andrew is the elder brother of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and the younger brother of King Charles III and Anne, Princess Royal. What then will Princess Andrew inherit from the Queen? According to a September 2022 BBC article, as their inheritance, Andrew and Sarah Ferguson will get Mick and Sandy, two corgis that Andrew and his daughters Beatrice and Eugene gave to the Queen as a gift in 2021. The story originates in the spring of 2021, when the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, was undergoing treatment for the COVID-19. This is when Andrew, Beatrice and Eugene brought her the dogs Mick and Fergus to cheer her up. Due to a cardiac condition, Fergus passed away at the age of five months. However, after the passing of the Fergus, Andrew presented her with another corgi named Sandy. Angela Kelly, the Queen's wardrobe and personal assistant, reportedly remarked that the dogs offered continuous delight to the monarch and always brought a smile to everyone's faces. Then we have Prince Edward. He is the youngest child of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. 
the Earl of Wessex. Moreover, he is the younger brother of Prince Andrew, Princess Anne, and King Charles III. He and his wife, Sophie Rhys Jones, who he married in 1999, are the parents of Lady Louise Windsor and James Viscount Servan, two of Queen Elizabeth's grandchildren. What then will Prince Edward inherit from the Queen? He will also own a portion of the sovereign grant. However, the precise amount of Prince Edward's portion remains unknown. On the other side, we have Prince William. He is the oldest of two children to King Charles III and his late wife Diana, Princess of Wales, who passed away in 1997. Prince William received the Duchy of Cornwall, a private estate estimated to be $1.2 billion as part of Queen Elizabeth's legacy. The 140,000 acre estate, which belonged to William's father, King Charles, before he ascended to the throne, is used to finance the public, private, and philanthropic activities of the Duke of Cornwall, a title that William ascended to upon the death of the Queen. The Duchy of Cornwall was founded in 1337 to provide financial support for the successor to the crown. The Duchy of Cornwall is supported through the ownership and management of land in rural and urban areas, as well as islands and rental cottages in Wales, Cornwall, and other regions of the United Kingdom. This revenue will support Prince William and Kate Middleton. Charles and Camilla received $28 million from the Duchy of Cornwall in 2018, comparable to what William and Kate will get. According to CNN, Charles and Camilla spend around half their annual salary on travel and formal royal activities, with the other quarter going to taxes. The remaining $8.9 million went to Prince William and Prince Harry, the children of Charles and his late wife, Princess Diana, as well as unofficial purchases and a royal savings account. As we all know, Prince William, the Prince of Wales, is married to Kate, the Princess of Wales, who is a great-grandchild of Queen Elizabeth II. So, what will she receive as an inheritance from Queen Elizabeth? In September 2022, Radar Online revealed that Kate would be receiving a $110 million jewelry inheritance from the Queen. This collection comprises 300 items that were solely hers and not the crown. An informant stated that Kate was undoubtedly a family favorite. Of course, she would never admit it, but that was one of the things Camilla disliked about Kate. According to a story from Radar Online, Kate intends to give her part of the diamonds to her daughter, Princess Charlotte. Kate will receive a collection of jewels worth $110 million from the Queen, but it will not include a Spencer tiara, a diamond-encrusted crown that belonged to William's late mother, Princess Diana, and was inherited in the middle of the 1970s. Princess Charlotte, the daughter of Kate and William, will get the tiara. We then move to the famous or infamous Prince Harry. He is the grandson of Queen Elizabeth II, the younger brother of Prince William. What then will Prince Harry inherit from the Queen? It is unknown what Harry will get from the Queen, but after the passing of his mother, Princess Diana, Forbes estimates that Harry and William each received about $10 million as part of their mother's inheritance when they turned 25. In a March 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey and his wife on CBS, Harry disclosed that after his father, Prince Charles, cut him off financially at the beginning of 2020, he used the trust from his mother to support himself and his family. Currently, he is still in a conflict with the royal family, so on inheriting something from the Queen, it is still not yet known. Moreover, we have his wife and daughter, Meghan and Lilibet. Unsurprisingly, neither Meghan nor Lilibet will get any inheritance from the Queen. There's a very high chance the Queen won't leave either of them anything of value. Since they are no longer members of the royal family, it is not shocking, but it would be a huge slap in the face. The Queen may have excluded Meghan from her legacy owing to practicality, or Harry and Meghan's conflict with the British royal family in the years preceding the Queen's passing. Some individuals think it won't be out of malice, but rather realism. I wonder as years go by, will these conflicts between members of the royal family diminish or remain until the bitter end? Let's hope not. For the sake of the younger generations of the royals, let's hope that matters can be resolved. Anyway, who among them do you rank as the luckiest or most fortunate? And who do you think got the best inheritance? If royal family drama is your thing, check out the next video.